These are two of the most critically acclaimed gaming mice of 2022. The Pulsar X2 and the Lamzu Atlantis. But which one should you pick? Both cost a similar amount of money, both weigh about the same, both have similar design philosophies, they're designed for claw and fingertip grip with a low click position, and both are very, very positively well reviewed. They even have the same sensor and basically the same click latency according to Optimum Tech's tests. But the thing is, they actually are drastically different gaming mice with drastically different shapes for different audiences, which is where we shall start. The size. The Lamzu Atlantis is substantially bigger of a mouse than the Pulsar X2. If I were to give a very unscientific rough figure of how much bigger the Lamzu Atlantis is in terms of the feel in the hand, the Lamzu Atlantis is like 10 to 15% bigger. It's longer, its sides are wider, and its bump on the back is also taller. The bump on the back of the mouse of the Lamzu Atlantis is a bit more centered, whereas the bump on the back of the mouse for the Pulsar X2 is more towards the back of the mouse, so it's like more backward leaning, which for different grips is actually going to give different feel. So that is like up to you whether you like it or not. I think a good point of reference will be the Razer Viper. If you think the Razer Viper is a nice shape and too big, the X2 or even the smaller X2 Mini might be the better option. If you think the Razer Viper is too small of a mouse, then the Lamzu Atlantis is probably a nice step up in terms of size. The next difference between these two games gaming mice is the finish, which many people like to call the coating. Modern gaming mice don't have a coating. The coating you are talking about is really the raw plastic finish. And actually, I definitely prefer the finish on the Pulsar X2. It's grippier and doesn't actually need grip tape to feel reasonably nice and secure in my hand. But the Lamzu Atlantis, despite having a smoother finish, does come with really excellent grip tape in the box. So I wouldn't say that one wins the other. Another difference in the shape of these two gaming mice is definitely the fact that the X2 has deep comfort grooves on the clicks and the side. Comfort grooves are grooves for your fingers to rest that kind of guide your fingers into certain positions. On the Lamzu Atlantis, there are basically very shallow grooves on the side and no grooves at all on the clicks. Another difference is definitely the clicks. So the Lamzu Atlantis has very light and snappy and crisp clicks that are designed to really be fast and quick to reactivate and rebound. The Pulsar X2 doesn't have slow clicks, it just has significantly different clicks. If you like clicks that are lower pitched and have kind of more travel, so they feel more snappy and thocky and tactile, then the Pulsar X2 will have better clicks for you. But if you want the fastest, lightest, most well-tensioned clicks ever, the Lamzu Atlantis will absolutely be the better choice. As for the scroll wheel, I would definitely say the Pulsar X2 has a better scroll wheel. It's lighter, it's snappier, and it's also lower profile, so easier to reach on top. In comparison, the Lamzo Atlantis scroll wheel does feel a little bit mushy and a bit slow and a bit stiffer than the X2. It's not bad in any sense of the word, but it is a bit worse than the Pulsar X2. The thumb buttons on both of these gaming mice are actually very reflective of the differences in their main clicks, in that the Lamzo Atlantis thumb buttons are very light, very crisp, and very high pitch with very sharp sounds, whereas the thumb buttons of the Pulsar X2 have a little bit more travel, few more tactile, few more thocky, and few more snappy. In conclusion then, which is the gaming mouse that's going to be best for you? Really, it comes down to subjective preferences, but I would say in terms of the priority of what you should be caring about, it should be size followed by shape, followed by things like click, comfort grooves, and scroll wheel, followed by things like mice feet. And really, the size difference between these two is probably going to be the main reason you choose one mouse over the other. If you think the Viper is too small, once again, get the Lamzu, it's substantially bigger. If you think the Viper is too big, get the Pulsar, it's substantially smaller. And it even has a much smaller version, the X2 Mini, if your hands are really tiny. But assuming that you're actually okay with the size of both of these gaming mice, I would definitely say that the Lamzu will be better for people who have more forward-leaning grips. So if you hold your mouse towards more of the front of the mouse, then the Lamzu is going to be better since the bump is more towards the front and you can risk your palm on the bump if you're holding your mouse in this kind of very forward-leaning claw or fingertip grip. If, however, you have more of a relaxed or backward-leaning grip, like the palm of your hand hangs off the back of the mouse, I think the Pulsar X2 is actually going to be the better option since the bump is more towards the back of the mouse and substantially lower. So if you're holding the mouse kind of like this towards the back with this fingertip grip or to, with like a relaxed claw grip and your palm is like hanging off the back, 
the bump does not intrude and protrude into your hand and make you feel uncomfortable. As for my personal choice, I chose the Pulsar X2. For my subjective needs and my subjective desires, I prefer the smaller shape, the narrower size, as well as the lower bump. Because for my style of grip, which is a very backward leaning, relaxed claw, the Pulsar X2 is a better fit. But once again, consider your hand size, consider your grip style, and consider the things that you cherish the most in a gaming mouse. And then decide based on that. Both of these gaming mice are going to be excellent options. Both of them are going to perform at top levels at really awesome prices. And there's a good reason why these two are some of the most well-reviewed gaming mice of the year that many enthusiasts love to recommend. They are absolutely phenomenal, absolutely bonkers, and I'm really glad to see these small niche companies taking the fight to the behemoths of Razer and Logitech, stirring up the market and giving us gamers more interesting, unique, and exciting options. Now, if there's anyone in Singapore selling an x 5 MZ1 wireless, please hit me up in the comments because I actually really want to see what that feels like. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow. Goodbye.